Well, the Charleston Air Show brought in around 60,000 people this weekend. Officials and attendees touched on what this event means for the community, specifically for the younger generations. Our Carly Baker went to the air show for the final day and brings us the story. Huge crowds came out to the Joint Base Charleston for the air show today. Despite weather concerns, people who came out had the chance to tour and learn all about the different aircrafts that are here, as well as enjoy all the performances they had to offer. The director of air operations for the Charleston Air Show, Michael O'Connor, says this weekend brought in over 45 static aircraft and 25 performer aircraft for people to enjoy. Attendees had the chance to go aboard the different aircraft they had out on display. So the aircraft we have on display, you guys can get inside, see the aeromedical stuff that we do, all the tactical things that we do, and see aircraft that aren't normally in town. O'Connor told me that when he went to an air show 30 years ago, it is what inspired him to do what he does today. One attendee says seeing the younger crowds is also one of his favorite parts. Oh, I think the most exciting thing that I really like to see is all the youth here, because I think it's so cool to get to see all the youth uh, experience aviation, and this is how a lot of them get started into the military or even into just overall aviation. We see all the airliners coming by. This event is held every two years, so if you miss this year's show, the next one will be held in 2026. O'Connor touched on why this event is so special as they get to open up the gates to the community and show them what they're all about. Reporting in North Charleston, Carly Baker, Live 5 News.